Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with another movie reaction. Today we are watching Ghostbusters 2. Watched the last one around this time last year for Halloween. A little too many movies to get through this October, so you're seeing this a little bit late. But uh, the sequel, Ghostbusters Afterlife, is out in theaters either very soon or now, depending on when I publish this video, so yay. Uh, heard people don't like this movie as much as the first Ghostbusters, but we're going to get into it anyway because I want to watch the sequel at some point. Uh, excited to get into a new adventure with Ray, Egon, Venkman, and Winston. Maybe Dana Barrett as well? Anyway, if you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like and let's get started. After the first movie? Oh boy. Looks like can do. No, I asked you last week. Could my go ask? It's getting really cold in here. I, 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 I. Go get it. Okay, well, it's no problem. What are you doing? Get it. Oh my God! Run away, baby! Out into traffic. Oh my God! It stopped. How many of them are there? Fourteen. They're in here. I hope you can handle it. It's Fourteen. Like a nightmare. Children? They're doing. Oh, I thought they were taking care of ghosts. And then it just suddenly stopped right in the middle of the street. Mm hmm When did anyone else see this happen? Well, sure, hundreds of people. Well, I'd like to bring Ray in on this if you don't mind. But not Venkman. Oh no. Not Venkman? Yeah, we didn't part on very good terms, and then we sort of lost track of each other uh, after I got married. Oh. Are you ready for the affection test? Well, I predict that the world will end at the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve. This New Year's Eve. This year? Mm -hmm. Next week, though. Kimmy Ira. Hairless pets. Weird. And sure. Joanne, this is Peter Venkman saying. Who watches this? We did a little job for the city a while back, and we got stiffed on the bill by some bureaucratic bookworm like yourself. The last thing we need is for him to be associated with two-bit frauds and publicity hounds like you and your friends. You know, I'm a voter. Aren't you <laughs> supposed to lie to me and kiss my butt? <laughs> I think it won't be long before uh, you can uh, assist me in the uh, more important restoration. She tends to I think get these creeps. Oh, God. Oh. Oh God! No, I do. I truly do. <laughs> Why would you think that? And oh my God! What are you guys working on? Something. Uh, well, we're just kind of um, checking something out. Uh, oh my God! I can't. No, no, I can't. I, I, now, Dana Barrett. Why does this? Why? Why does this hurt? Oh my God, Vinkman. <laughs> He's such a child. Subject is a male Caucasian, uh, approximately 24 inches. 24 inches <laughs> in uh, length. You never got it, Dana. I'm a man. I'm oh, sensitive. Oh, God. What's your name? His name is Oscar. Oh, named after a hot dog. You poor man. <laughs> poor, poor man. Can I tell you to stop cutting? What are you guys doing here? You tell him to stop cutting? Yes, I told him. Yeah, because some diaper back downtown is being a jerk. I'm making this work on a Friday night. Am I right, Peter? Of course you're right, Raymond. Is he right, Ziggy? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> Whoa. This oh. I, Vigo, command you. Oh, command me, Lord. Oh, my God. He just did <laughs> immediately. Find me a child. That I might live again. Say, so find me a child? A child? No. A child? Right. Get a sample? Let's see if I can get a sample. Buddy, the phone lines are over there! <laughs> what did I say to you? The phone lines oh. are over there! Hey. What did hey, I say? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, you're not with Con Ed or the phone company. So tell me another one. I got a major gas leak here! What do you think <laughs> coming from? Going on with this stuff? Oh! You're going up, you're going up. Whoa. Well, oh damn! Oh, okay. 
That's not the end of it. What can we do? It's all in the hands of our lawyer now. I think you guys are making a big mistake. This guy? I never saw anything like this in my life. Mm. Whatever's down there, they must have put it there. No, we oh, didn't. Oh, come on. Shut up! Well, there's so many holes in First Avenue, we really didn't think anyone would notice. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that up, mister. I'll find you in contempt. Oh. I'm truly sorry, Your Honor. Wow! Electric chair. Friends of yours? I tried them for murder! Gave them the chair! Oh, damn. Why don't you just tell them you don't believe in ghosts? That'll probably work. I was in the order. Case dismissed. Sorry, we yes. got the case. Now do something. <laughs> Didn't seem to work. And phone's ringing. Off the hook. Ghostbusters. Don't worry. We're not moving. He is. Who are you going to call? <laughs> Ghostbusters! <laughs> You're nothing but an unstable short chain molecule! You foul, obnoxious mob! You have a weak electrochemical bond! <laughs> Ooh, bird! You saw that, right? No? Yes, this is Prince Rigo, the roller cortez in Moldavia. <laughs> I get the feeling that that painting is watching me. Even smiling at me. Don't discount her intuition. Ah! Don't put the baby in. Don't do it. Oh, that's great! That's great? You think there's a connection between this Vigo character and the... Slime you have right there? Yeah. Slime? It's so late, I really gotta put him down. You're short, your belly button sticks out too far, and you're a terrible burden on your poor mother. What? What? <laughs> What about the animals? Do they like you? That's it, more! Oh. Yeah, come on, you're big, you're big! Alright, destroy me! Destroy me now, yeah! Destroy me, yeah! Ray? Yeah! Oh no, oh no. Oh no? She cleaned. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh no, she cleaned. Dana, did you see some uh, shirts here in the floor bed area? Yeah, I put them in the hamper. I have a hamper? <laughs> <laughs> I have a hamper? Do you maybe want to... Oh, no, no. No, no. Do you Come want on. to have something to eat with me? You want to babysit with me? Okay, I would. That's the river of slime. Oh. What? what? It's locked. Closed. Thank you, Winston. Oh, you won't echo the black guy. Something like a the train. rumbling. Uh uh. These lines have been abandoned for 50 years. Ghost train. Oh. It's a ghost train. Winston! He just stood there. Nobody got him out of the way. Is he alright? Whoa. I'm trying to hold Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Uh oh. It's attached to him. Oh crap. Cut the line! No! Oh wow! And they bartered housekeeping services for room and board, which was a real good deal for them because they didn't have to withhold social security or income tax or nothing, which you really weren't supposed to do. Anytime! Come on! Right it's go time, man! Right well, it's so bad. Grab me, grab me. He just dove in after you Wait. to save your life. Wait! Oh dear, Ray. What are we doing? I was ready to kill you. Oh. It's a stuff. I mean, it's still it's all like over you. Concentrated evil. Mr. Mayor, we're here tonight because a psychomagnetic slime flow of immense proportions is building up beneath the city. Does anybody speak English here? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Your Honor. Being miserable and treating other people like dirt is every New Yorker's God-given right. 
Oh. Your two minutes are up. Good night, gentlemen. Wow. Yes, it's your God-given right to act like an asshole. The mayor wants them kept under strict observation for the next few days. If I was to uh, bring the baby, could I have the woman? So be it. Are there any other paintings in the museum with bad spirits in them? You're wasting valuable time. He's drawing strength from a psychomagnetic slime. <laughs> collecting under the Beckman's just like, this is just making us see more and more crazy. Slime. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! They're in an asylum. Whoa! That's gotta draw some attention, right? Yeah. Why would you step in it? What the frickin' heck? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't wear fur. He says the Titanic just arrived. Whoa. Oh, damn. Better late than never. <laughs> Remove this man from the building and get me the Ghostbusters! <laughs> Doesn't seem to be doing much. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Wonder what? Whether she's naked under that toga? She's, she's French. She's wearing a toga. Good slime. Winston is our slime in a good mood tonight. I hope so. She's a <laughs> lot bigger than a. <laughs> oh, this romance. Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh, ask her. Ask her. Um. Dead? All right, now listen. You gotta stay right here. Don't move. I don't know that that's a good idea leaving the baby all alone. Oh boy. Hey, Vigo. Uh oh. <laughs> baby, you know what that? <laughs> really? That's it? Thank you, Peter. That felt. Anticlimactic. I love you. Yes? Yeah. Well, I love you too. <laughs> all right. Wow. So he wasn't a creep, it was all the goo? I feel like he was a creep before. I believe it's one of the fettuccinis. Fettuccini? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> so yeah, I thought this movie was all right. Like, at no point was I bored, but I can't say I was thoroughly entertained either. I will say with the first movie, I could see a lot more charm and I could see the reason why it became such a popular thing where kids would want to dress up as the Ghostbusters for Halloween, like in Stranger Things. Uh, but I didn't see the appeal of Venkman in the first movie and I still kind of don't, but to each their own. Uh, I mean, he's funny sometimes, but he's also just a little too much. Uh, I'm not sure I have a favorite Ghostbuster now that I think about it. Uh, I guess with this film... Other than Venkman, you don't get much personality or relationship building between everybody. The draw is more the supernatural. Uh, Dana Barrett nearly has her baby taken into traffic. Was Vigo using the slime to try to get the baby to the museum at the start of the movie? I'm not entirely sure, but I don't know. This film, I think it maybe suffers from the fact that it's a sequel. Like They saved the entire world in the first movie, and they were celebrated for it. And by the time the second movie starts... They're almost completely discredited. They're the laughing stock of the city. Two of them are doing birthday parties where the kids aren't even excited for them. And Venkman is doing this show about psychics that I can't imagine anyone watches. You'd think they have some sort of cachet after what they did for the city. And so we're basically back to where we started at the first film. And then just like that, just like the first film, they find a threat. Nobody believes them. And they have to overcome the odds to save the city. And they even have a somewhat similar guy to get in their way. Last time it was Walter Peck. This time it was the mayor's whatever. Uh, it just feels very much the same to what was in the first film. It's almost like we've seen this movie, exact movie before. And uh, it's kind of sad how this series kind of just dismisses the creepiness of all the characters who have been creepy throughout the movie. Uh, Louis Tully last movie was just so sad and creepy. 
And by the end of the movie, there are no real consequences to his creepiness. Uh, for that matter, there are no real consequences to Venkman's creepiness. Uh, but that's another story entirely. And I guess Louis Tully is supposed to be likable, so they put him in a romantic relationship in this movie and made him into an honorary Ghostbuster. I don't know. Uh, and then in this movie, Janos, he was creepy with Dana even before Vigo took over. So I don't know how much power Vigo had over him then. So I guess, I guess we can dismiss everything he does like afterward, but he's still a creepy ass guy. And in the end, he's saved, doesn't tr learn any lessons, will probably go on to be creepy to other people instead, which I mean, I guess that's realistic, but the movie paints them out to be the victims and they get off scot-free for their behavior. So, like, why even include their creepiness in the movie or have creepiness be their main character trait if, in the end, it doesn't matter? It's just a little weird to me. Um, I don't know. I, maybe it's supposed to be funny. Maybe it's just a relic of the times. And, yeah, I wonder if Ghostbusters Afterlife will have that kind of character. Uh, I know Paul Rudd is in this film, so no way they make him that kind of character, right? Anyway, uh, this movie took a few shots at New Yorkers. Our bad juju was enough to create a pink river of slime. I mean, just by the sheer amount of people here, there's obviously going to be a lot of negative energy. And it doesn't seem like any amount of positive energy can really stop the creation of the slime. So, I mean, I've had some bad experiences living in New York City my entire life. But I think putting so many different people from different areas of the world in one place creates new problems, but also new opportunities to understand each other. Um, I think I'd have a hard time living somewhere else, moving somewhere else because of that. Uh, so despite living here all my life, I actually haven't also been to the Statue of Liberty, so put on put that on the to-do list, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was a good moment to see the Statue of Liberty walking down uh, in Manhattan. I'm going to give this movie a 6.75. It's still watchable, and there wasn't any moment where I was like having a bad time, but I'll probably wind up forgetting most of what happened in this film as soon as uh, I finish talking about it, the end of the sentence. Uh, there were some there were some memorable imagery. Uh, the Slime River, uh, Vigo was pretty threatening, the Statue of Liberty, like I said, walking through New York City. That I'll remember. Um, but the story, uh, the characters, they feel like they're more along for the ride this time than they feel like they're heroes. Uh, they feel like more of the butt of the joke than anything else. So... Um, it's not a memorable movie, but I'm glad I watched it because uh, we do have Ghostbusters Afterlife coming up soon. And I think I've heard some reviews have been pretty positive, so looking forward to that. I think my lights went out just for like half a second, and yet, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, it's paranormal activity, I guess. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. We are one week ahead with movie reactions there as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.